What's up everybody, uh, Juice Daddy here. I'm on a little road trip. I didn't get to take any road trips really. Game hunting road trips uh, this past summer. Got the week off of work, plans fell through. Took a little drive to Billings. Uh, may take another drive elsewhere in the state, maybe Butte or Missoula uh, later on this week. It's a cold, rainy, wet Wednesday. But this is why I love these road trips, man. I'm at this pawn shop, uh, first national pawn. They had Xbox 360, PS3 games, and I'm labeled 4 for 20. And then they, there's PS2 games, 10 for 10. I grabbed four Xbox 360 games and one PS2 game. Take up the counter. Didn't haggle. Didn't, guys like, how about $10? I, w I was prepared to pay, pay 21, 10 bucks. Uh, you got a deal on uh, the Xbox 360 titles, uh, Star Trek Legacy, Fairy Tale Fights. That's been in my Amazon wish list for years and years. It's not worth anything, but I've always wanted to give it a try. Aliens vs. Predator. I've got uh, some cases to replace it with. Not complete, unfortunately. Complete would be about $15, $16 game, as is uh, considering a good find. And Backbreaker. Backbreaker is about a $12 game that is complete. The PS2 title, it's about a $15 game. I was kind of surprised, but I kind of learned this a couple of weeks ago to be on the lookout for this because you wouldn't know. Um, MVP Baseball, NCAA uh, Baseball, MVP 07. I see 06 everywhere, but apparently 07 is about a $15 game complete. So they had it for a dollar and well, I guess I paid $2 each for those games, so that's not bad. I also went to, uh, before I checked into my hotel as I got into town, and the weather was just horrible, rain was just coming down at the time, so I just wanted to get in my hotel and checked in. But I was at this uh, place and called Express Pond here in Billings. They had all their PS3 and Xbox 360 titles, $2 each. He says, I just want to get rid of them. Now, I could have gone nuts with that, but I was only looking for titles I kind of either need or can flip decent. And he had two copies of Dead or Alive Extreme 2 on Xbox 360. They're both complete. Uh, $15, $16 game. Got them for $2 each. That's not bad. So I spent $14. I've already got a sack full of decent titles. I have a bag in my trunk full of stuff uh, to trade. I'm going to go visit the retro store tomorrow, tomorrow morning when he opens at 10 because I got a bag full of stuff. Um, stuff I've been trying to sell on Macari and eBay for months. It's not moving. See what I can get for it. Also, a bunch of stuff that I just don't think it's worth my time listing and, you know, putting together and shipping and all that. Some GameCube titles, some PS2 titles that are, you know, maybe could fetch... $10 here, $12 there, or if I bundle them up, put them together for like 25 30 bucks, they'd sell after a while, but you know, just see what I can get. I mean, if he get low balls me with a crappy offer, then I'll just pull it back and I'll take it home. No, no loss on me. I've got some cash on me as well, so if there's anything good and I don't have any good store credit with them, I can pick it up if it's a good price. So I'm on a game collecting road trip. At least Billings, and if the weather holds up, and if I feel well, because my leg's kind of hurting, maybe uh, maybe a trip to Missoula um, this weekend. All right, stay tuned. We've got some good games already. Hope some good ones still to come. Just outside another pawn shop here in Billings as they're kind of getting ready to close. <laughs> no signs up, no prices on the games. I'm like, how much do you want for these, dude? And he's like, tell you what. You bring up what you want, and tell me what you want to pay. I brought up one, two, three, seven games. Do the initial low ball offer of 50 cents. <laughs> he said, come on, that's $20. He's like, okay. Demon Souls, I'll flip that for nine or 10. Iron Man, probably about a $10 game on its own. Velvet Assassin, for some reason, I thought I had this on PS3. But it's not pulling up on price charting, so maybe I have it on Xbox 360. A couple good PSP games. Parappa the Rapper. Platypus, I may own it. It's a shooter. Nice little find here. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 for PSP. And a great find. 
Golden Sun Dark Dawn on DS. Complete. That's a good find. It's all a good find, $20. I wish Bozeman had these pawn shops. Man, <laughs> our pawn shops stink compared to here. All right, on again, day two, uh, thrifting, pawn shopping, heading to the retro game store here in Billings here. I think I got one more pawn stop to hit before going over there. Uh, what I picked up so far this morning at a pawn shop, MLB Slugfest 2004 for GameCube. Complete, this is like a $25 game. This isn't complete. Uh, the disc is in good shape. Um, the box art is kind of beat up. I say in its condition, it's probably about a $3 game, or about a $15 game, I paid $3. Hip another pawn shop, I had to pay for parking downtown, but that's okay. I spent a little bit, $20, but you may know this game is shooting up. DuckTales Remastered on Wii U, probably about a $40, $45 game right now. I got it for $19.95. I think I own it already, so I'm going to flip that. Should make, uh, after fees and whatnot, should make about 15 bucks on that. That'll be nice. Then this pawn shop where I'm at right now, 5 for 20 uh, games. Amazing Spider-Man 2. About a $15 game, but it's a former rental, so maybe not that much. Um, Ninja Gaiden 2. This is complete and in good shape. Probably about a $13, $14 game. Uh, Serious Sam Collection for Xbox. Probably about a $12, $13 game. A no manual. 50 Cent Blood in the Sand for 360. Probably about a $15 game. 10 to $15 game. And look, another copy of DuckTales Remastered. This time for PS3. Uh, probably about a $15 to $20 game. 5 for 20 Not bad. Uh, like I said, well, at least one more pawn shop to hit. Then the retro game store, which I don't know how long will be there because I got some stuff to trade in and hopefully find some uh, good premium stuff. All right, leaving this uh, video game store here in Billings, Trademark Video Games. Nice selection, but hard to decide on some stuff. With all the stuff I brought in, plus a few dollars, I got four games. Phantom Fighter. Smash TV. Label's a little rough. Skull and Crossbones. And, uh, Gigawing. Very nice. Very nice. Heading out of Billings, but I just learned about this place, so I made a little detour. Gabrielstoys.com. Very limited hours, like 12 to 5, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. By appointment, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Luckily, I caught them open. Mostly old school toys and comics. Anything Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Transformers. Like, if you want a Teradrome from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, he's got it in there. You want an old school He-Man Castle Skull? It's in there. You want the old 1970s Star Wars Cantina playset still in its box? It's in there. Lucky for me, they also have some old school video games. <laughs> and also lucky for me, I never got back into collecting those old toys I used to have. Uh, $50 total spent. Um, Shadow Hearts from the New World. Gave me a nice little deal on that. It's complete. Wrecking Crew 5 Screw. He pulled out a box. Because I was asking for, um, I'm looking for Fantasy Zone Tengen, and there was a Tengen cart in the case I couldn't see. He's like, man, I got like a, a box of NES games back there we haven't had a chance to go through in price. So I'm like, I'd love to go through it. So he pulls it out. And this was in there, so hadn't been cleaned yet, but it looks all right. That's just dirt. It came right off when I was scratching it. So looks good. A little cheapo game, but I did not have it. Air Fortress. I believe that's a shooter. 
And to go with my Empire Strikes Back, finally picked up Star Wars on the NES. So four games, 50 bucks. I think I am through in Billings for today. Yeah, it's 1.15. Time to head on home. Cool. I want to remember this place. Good prices, good people. All right, here's the highlights from the trip to Billings. Right here. Let's kind of put it all together. So this stack right here, $10 total at a pawn shop. Definitely good value. This right here, probably about a 10 to $12 game by itself. Uh, $3 spent, uh, like I said, condition's not good, no manual. Still about $15 to $18 game. All right, here's uh, the last store we hit before hitting the road in uh, billing. So we got $50 spent. Um, I think it's a pretty good deal, especially with that Shadow Hearts. Probably about a $35 game on its own. Um, of course, probably the biggest highlight of the trip is getting this Giga Wing for taking stuff. I mean, I took stuff that I've had on Macari since February, so it's been up, you know, seven months, you know, a lot of stuff. Plus stuff, you know, that I've been meaning to list, but it's just I don't think it's worth my time, you know, create a listing, and I probably can't sell it for more than $10, $12, and it's not going to be a fast seller. Just be able to load all that stuff in a bag, give it to him, and be able to straight across. I wouldn't be able to do this at the retro game store that Bozeman had before it closed down because it wouldn't be premium stuff. So just be able to take all that stuff that's been accumulating, all the duplicates, all the things I already had, give it to him, and straight across getting a Dreamcast heavy hitter, a shooter like Gigawing. Very happy about that. Of course, I picked up these three NES games I didn't have there as well. Um, Skull and Crossbones, Smash Bros. Um, you didn't see I stopped at Best Buy on my way out of town. I am still technically for the next month or so a Gamers Club Unlocked member. It expires in October. So I went ahead and picked up Astral Chain and the Tetris 99. So the Astral Chain that got down to 47 bucks, About, uh, I guess about 24 for the Tetris 99 after that 20% discount. All right, uh, let's see what titles came with this. These three over here, or this stack. This was probably a great, like maybe the best total. So we had $20 right here for this stack right here. This was the name your price buy at the pawn shop. Getting these three PS of P games, especially that Marvel Ultimate Alliance. It's about maybe about a 12 to 15. I mean, the Golden Sun Dark Dawn, we're looking at fifteen twenty. Um, Iron Man, surprisingly, is uh, sitting around uh, $12 or so. Uh, Demon Souls, I'm going to try to flip for $10 free ship on Makari. I'm going to double check. I may have this, but I don't know. These are the games they really don't make anymore. These kind of little, um, not AAA games, but not indie games. It's like the middleware. They don't really don't make that anymore. Um, this was a $20 buy. It was, they had PS3 and PS, or PS3 and Xbox 360 games, $5 each, five for 20. So picking up these five, you know, especially the DuckTales, once again, you know, that's probably a $20 flip by itself. The first buy of the trip, the Dead or Alive Extreme 2, uh, $2 each. Uh, probably a $15 game, so keeping one and flipping the other. And, you know, the one I paid a little bit too much for, probably 20 bucks, But I think it's an easy $40 to $45 flip. I'm going to test it in the Wii U and get that listed. All right. I had so much success on this road trip. Um, I decided against going to Missoula, but I'm going to take a little day trip over to Butte. They have about five pawn shops and one uh, retro game store there. So I'm going to hit the shower and then hit the road. All right. Beautiful, historic downtown Butte, Montana. Home of A Games. $55 spent. 
Finally. Legend of Dragoon. No manual, but all four discs in good condition. At that retro game store in Billings, he wanted 50 for this. <laughs> 15. Can't believe I didn't have this. Eight eyes. Fighting Force 2. Die Hard Trilogy 2. And an interesting one. Mario Brothers in the box for Atari 2600. I've seen comps for this on eBay for like $40, $45 complete in box. They had it for $18. All that for $55. Bucks. Not bad. Now I'm going to go explore their pawn shops. All right, uh, the road trip haul this time from Butte. Here's the stuff you've seen so far that I showed after I left the uh, game store up there in Butte. They did cut me a deal, I want to say it was about 50 for all this, so not bad. Eight Eyes, one of those uh, cheapo NES games that I did not have in my collection, so that's cool. Uh, Legend of the Dragoon. Uh, no manual in here, but I've been looking for this. Every time I, I've I've found disc only in GameStop, and you know, I just haven't had a chance to snatch it and get it back in the collection from back in the back in the day. I had it, you know, back when PS One was a current gen system. Happy to have that back in the collection. Adding Die Hard Two and Fight Force Two, or Fighting Force Two, good games. And there is the Mario Brothers on Atari. Took out the cart, which is in uh, pretty damn nice condition, and the manual as well, so it is complete. So get that Mario Brothers Atari 2600 action. Uh, what they have on it? I think I already took the price tag off. No, I didn't. It's right there. They had 18 on it. Like I said, I was seeing comps on eBay, complete in box this for 44. So not bad. Uh, the rest of the Butte trip was not much to write home about. The only other purchase I made was this right here at a pawn shop. Super high impact football for the Genesis. I have this for the uh, Super Nintendo. I've also played the arcade version a lot. Uh, it's a really cheap game. And I actually, it's one of those sports games I recommend. Because it's kind of like over the top, ultra violent, super sexualized, 90s attitude football. Scantily clad cheerleaders. An announcer with attitude and hits that send bones and guts and blood flying everywhere we actually had the arcade version of the youth center i used to work at and i was like you know this isn't the nfl like super sanitized right it's <laughs> oh well i guess he wasn't playing it the kids enjoyed it that's not all i picked up in butte though i did not buy this i was in a pawn shop and a. Uh, I was looking at the games, and, she, and the ladies asked, well, what are you here for? I'm like, video games? She's like, here's a stack of games I'm about to take over to the thrift store. You can have them if you want them. Oh, boy. Jonas. Complete. <laughs> America's Test. I mean, no wonder nobody bought that. She's trying to sell it for $11. I think I have this. Oh, I'm not going to open it. It's complete. Santa Claus is coming to town. The original Christmas classic. NBA 2K11 for the Wii. I think it's complete. Just in a note, just disc only in there. Former rental from somewhere. I think Hastings? The former Hastings? And a TNA Impact for the Wii. This is complete, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So all that for free. I guess I have some nice uh, replacement DS cases. And the next time I find a cheap DS light at a garage sale, I've got some games to flip it to some kid. All right, so that's my Butte haul. Let's put everything together. All right, here we go. Overall, just not a bad trip at all. I mean, the highlight, definitely trading at a bunch of duplicates and stuff that just wasn't going on the car on eBay, getting some credit, and getting Gigaween straight across for free on the Dreamcast. Nice shooter, in good shape. 
All right. Uh, what else? Some of these disc based games, I mean, gonna get a nice case on that one. Uh, may try to flip this, I'm not quite sure. Definitely gonna try to flip DuckTales Remastered. Gonna flip one of our copies of Dead or Alive Extreme 2. We got for $2 each. Flipping that, gonna try to turn 20 into 50. 45 or 50 bucks. That's awesome. Um, all right. Added some NES games. Smash TV, Skull and Crossbones, Phantom Fighter, Wrecking Crew. That's a good find. Go ahead and use Golden Sun to cover up the Jonas Brothers over here. Star Wars, Air Fortress, Eight Eyes. Uh, what else we got here? Wish I was in better shape. It's about a $25 game. Got a couple Switch games. Got to open these up. Get my uh, online going. Some Tetris 99, some Super Nintendo action. Looking forward to tying uh, Astral Chain. All right. Couple road trips. I may have another one coming up soon. Knock on wood. It's kind of 50 50 right now. But uh, hitting the road, getting some good games of the collection. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you wish. Take care.